Hello and welcome to the Torah. This year is entitled that Goel is banded on Shabbat. It's caught in my ear on Shabbat. The pin steps in my shoes on Shabbat. Assuming I go out where there's no Arab. I'm living in a town where there's no Arab. I'm away for Shabbat. So I walk outside of the town's Arab. Is that considered carrying? So the post can differentiate. This is based on our parak and Dafyomi about what one could carry, what one cannot carry, what's considered hotza, what's not considered hotza. The Gemara Dafe talks about different items and how much each one is considered to be a shear for carrying that one violates Tila. So one of the rules about carrying on Shabbat, where you're not carrying, you're wearing the Avatsule Tinur Fatilu Aguf, where you have something protecting the body, something protecting a a just to protect for dirtiness, not your body itself. So something which is directly to help your body out. So it's clear from Shin Aleph in the Shulchan Aruch that if it is attached well, we're not afraid it's going to fall, you're going to carry it. So then one could wear that in Shabbat because that's not protecting a protection. So for example, you have some plastic uh, to cover your cast so it doesn't get dirty. That's, that's not something that's tinof, that's just to save from dirtiness. But having kind in the ear, so one has an issue with the ear. So for the Shulchan Aruch, it seems only if it's attached well. The Shri Shabbat says that nowadays you have the cotton made in a well that it's put in well, it could stay in. And assuming that that's medically was prescribed by a doctor, we usually don't have a fear it's going to come out you're going to sh- and you're going to walk with it. So if it's put in well, that's fine. So to Shri Shabbat, Peri talks about orthopedic or a brace or an instep insole into one's shoe, that that's fine as well. And a band that also clearly is protecting the body. Those are the categories. When something is just is protecting one's body directly, then that category is mutter that's part of one's garment, so to speak, and that is mutter to carry. Something is protecting something else. I just want my, my uh, cast to look nice, that that already is different, protecting that, that's a whole other topic. And there, one could not go out without uh, outside of Erev on Shabbat. Shalom.